Hey everyone, I'm Silly V. In this video, we'll be discussing how to create a queue system for Twitch's integrated shoutout feature. Twitch shoutout feature is a popular request from the community, but has limitations such as a two minute cooldown period and inability to shout out multiple channels at once. In the past, streamers have relied on third party bots to manage their shoutouts. And these bots conveniently did not have a cooldown. That's why I decided to build a solution that combines the best of both worlds. Let me explain how my queue system works. When you add a channel to the queue, the system automatically checks the queue every two minutes to see if anyone is waiting to be shouted out. If, there's a, if there is someone in the queue, the system automatically shouts out their channel, allowing you to focus on your content without worrying about managing your shoutouts manually. And now you can just add people to the queue without worrying about it, and they will be shouted out whenever the cooldown is up. With my solution, you can easily add or remove channels from the queue, customize the timing and frequency of your shoutouts, and reset the queue if needed. So let's dive into how to set up my queue system. Let's go over how to install and set up the external tool. We'll be using StreamerBot. StreamerBot is a popular third-party bot that can help you manage your Twitch channel more efficiently, including setting up a queue system for your shoutouts. To get started, go to StreamerBot website and download the latest version of the bot. Once downloaded, just unzip the folder wherever you want and open StreamerBot. Connect it to your Twitch account by going to Platform, Twitch, Accounts, and clicking Login. This will give StreamerBot control over your account and allow it to serve as a bot. In the next section, we'll go over how to set up my solution to work with StreamerBot and create a queue for your shoutouts. If you want to learn more about using StreamerBot or managing your Twitch channel in general, there are many resources available online some popular Twitch and YouTube content creators who regularly share tips and tutorials on these topics, including Nutty and Guy Level. Be sure to check them out for more in-depth guides and advice. Now let's dive into the first step of implementing the shoutout queue. First, we need to import the shoutout feature. In the description, you will find a link to the shoutout code, which you can import into StreamerBot. To do this, simply click import and paste the string. Once you've done that, confirm by clicking import and then click OK on the pop-up. Next, go to the settings, and then to timed actions, right-click and add to create a new timed action. Call it whatever you want, but make sure it's a name that makes sense to you. Pick SQ perform next shoutout and set the interval to 130 seconds. You can use a higher number if you want the shoutouts to happen less frequently, such as once every five or 10 minutes. Now let's go to platforms, then events, and then moderation. Add an action to the shoutout created event and pick SQ shoutout event. Finally, let's go to the commands tab, find all three commands that were added, exclamation mark SO, exclamation mark SO minus, and exclamation mark SO clear. Double click each of them, click enable, and also make sure to click on the moderation item and then click the move arrow button to move the moderators to the allowed section. This step is crucial to ensure that only moderators are allowed to run the commands. Once you've done that, click Confirm. And that's it. You now successfully added the shoutout queue to your channel. But if you're curious about the inner workings of the shoutout queue implementation, let's take a closer look at the code and understand how it all works together. First off, we have Schedule Shoutout. When a user initiates a shoutout action, this code will run. The action starts by getting the shoutout queue and the username that was inputted by the user. It then checks to see if the username is valid using the isUserValid method. The isUserValid method checks various conditions to determine if the username is valid. It checks if the username is empty, if it is a valid Twitch streamer, make sure it's not already in the queue, and that it wasn't shouted out already within the past minute. This is done to prevent accidental double shoutouts by different mods. If the username is valid, it adds the username to the shoutout queue and sends a message to the chat confirming that the user has been added to the queue. Now let's take a look at the perform next shoutout. This action runs periodically. It checks if there are any usernames in the shoutout queue, and if there aren't any, it stops running. Otherwise, it calculates the time since the last shoutout, and if it's too soon, it also stops running. If enough time has passed, it retrieves the next username from the queue, sends a shoutout for that user, and removes it from the queue. This action runs after a shoutout has been performed. 
whether it was triggered by our previous code or by a moderator in the chat. Its purpose is to record a timestamp of the last shoutout. And finally, the last two actions. This one removes the username from the shoutout queue, and the last one clears it completely. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more technical streaming tips. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Twitch. I stream almost every day. So make sure to follow me there.